Get ready for it. It's going to stay cold through early Saturday and then it is going to start to warm up Sunday into Monday. I mean, you can see the warmth right now uh, across a good portion of the country. Look at the 60s, 70s, 80s, well to the south. But we've got this cold pocket of air filtering into the northeast from Canada at least through early Saturday. And then look what happens. That cold pocket shifts out and we've got a milder southwesterly flow that's going to be building in Sunday into Monday. And the temperatures are going to moderate after a cold start to the weekend. Look at that jump up near 60 on Sunday and we're going to be well into the 50s on Monday as well. So the warmth will come. It's going to come with some wet weather as well as we work toward early next week. In the meantime, it is cold and dry out there right now. 34 in Worcester, 36 in Boston. It's a little closer to 40 down on the Cape, but again, it doesn't feel like it because of the wind. So the wind chill right now is mostly in the 20s, some lower 30s, and it's going to stay that way the rest of the afternoon. This wind continues to blow out of the northwest, sustained at 18, knocking back that wind chill. It is gusting higher. We're seeing some gusts over 20, even 30 miles per hour. And look at the direction of the wind. It's coming Coming in from the north and west, so the air mass is colder, and this is what's just going to keep feeding on in. So the temperatures have been stuck all day long, and they will continue to get colder as we go toward this evening. Now, this cold air is coming in behind the system that did bring in some snow very early this morning. Many of us woke up to a coating of snow north of the pike, but you got out along Route 20, just north of there, out toward Hudson and Maynard, and we had about an inch and a half to close to two inches of snow. Acton had almost an inch and a half, Worcester almost an inch, Lexington just a coating there. And areas south of the pike are saying, what snow? It rained overnight, rained in Boston as well. That is, of course, all long gone now. And we just have a blend of sun and clouds the rest of the afternoon. There might be a stray flurry kind of passing on through, but that's about the extent of it. Your 12-hour forecast, primarily dry. Temperatures, once the sun goes down, dropping from the 30s down into the 20s. And those wind chills are going to follow as well. Winds are going to stay up right through this evening. We're gusting over 20. The winds don't really settle down much until we get into the day tomorrow. So that means we're talking about the wind. Chill. Now the overnight low temperatures tonight do fall back into the single digits and teens. And when you factor in the wind, it may feel like it's below zero in a few communities, especially out toward Worcester County coming up early on Friday. So it is a cold end to the week, but we'll have bright sunshine. Winds settle down over the course of the day, but look at these temperatures and keep in mind we should be in the low 40s this time of year. I think low to mid 30s the best we do tomorrow. So yeah, cold end of the week here on your Friday. High pressure though giving us a nice quiet stretch. It should stay sunny into Saturday morning and then look what happens Saturday afternoon. We bring in some clouds and eventually we might catch a flurry, a light rain or snow shower Saturday evening, but a bigger threat for wet weather over the weekend. Coming in on Sunday, it's associated with a warm front that is going to bring in that milder air and right now it looks like the best chance of showers on Sunday will be the first half of the day. Then we should dry out a little bit. Another wave of low pressure though rides this front right on into our area, so looks like the rain gets heavier as we go from later Monday into Tuesday and then once that kicks out temperatures start going the other way again. So it's a couple days in the 50s and then we're back down into the 40s as we dry out, get back some sunshine toward the middle of next week. But that is a little closer to average for this time of year. So up and down we go. It seems to be the pattern we're in as of late. Jessica.